Okay, we're going to use the Scotch block connectors, which will basically crimp into the wire without cutting it. The important thing to know is that the there are two channels in here. If I close it down, okay. Now the channel near the opening mouth is the one that goes straight through, and then the back channel there's a stop. So that's the wire that just goes in and terminates. Now I'll explain what I mean. So first of all, for the red wire, so the one at the front of the mouth goes all the way through. And then the red wire on our lead here, if we just cut the, the silvered bit that it comes with off with some wire cutters, okay. we just take that, so we want the one at the front here, there we go. And then, and then we push this one in until it stops against the stop. We haven't got much length. You can cut it and solder it if, you, if you've got the facilities to do that. Okay. And then basically what we do is with the pliers, we, this this blade comes down. We squash that down, and that goes down and pierces through the blade. And then we put the clip over to just hold it all in place. That just comes over and clips into place and there you go you can check that you can pull on this one and that's basically tapped into that connection there and then we do the same with the green okay so we get this one we've got to open it up a little bit just to get the, the wires in okay get that first wire in the green wire okay and then the second wire the power module Again, we've just got to cut that silvered bit off. Take that, put that into there until we feel it stop. Like so. And squash that blade down with some pliers. Okay. Check his grip that black wire. Okay. Put that over the top. Okay. So then all this wiring can go into the back behind the dash. If you zoom out a bit, you'll see what I'm doing. Okay, we can put all that behind the dash. And then the only thing we've got coming out is this switch, which we can actually pop one of these switch blanks out. Okay, and the switch can sit through one of those. We'll show you the operation shortly. Push all that back into place. Okay, that's the switch we've got for something else. We've got this switch here then which should change the colour. Okay, but let's have a look now. So now, if we put the car in neutral, okay, we should be able to check all the lights come on, okay, and go out. Okay, so we've got all the warning lights on there. Okay, right, and then we can start the car and we'll check the rev counter, so make sure you've got it in neutral. Check, there you go, the rev counter works. As I say, check the calibration on your speedo, now when we turn the lights on now, we should get a backlit thing, okay, so I'll do that. 